um, Morgan, uh, the sister of uh, Dylan Roof, Morgan Roof, has been arrested. And for some reason, <laughs> they let her go on $5,000 bond, 10% cash alternative, what, 500 bucks? Uh, with the condition now, young lady, don't you go back to that school? Oh, okay. I won't, even though I've, on social media, said, I hope these people get shot. I hope it's a trap. I brought a knife. I got marijuana. Uh, but yeah, yeah, you bet. I won't go back to school. I mean, I'm sorry. Isn't it a red flag? Didn't her brother just in cold blood murder nine people in a church? You think you may just want to hang on for a second and, uh, you know, have somebody talk to the woman, talk to the kid. Well, she's not a kid. She's 18. And, and again, where are the parents in all this? What, 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 you know, your one kid murdered nine people. Your other kid uh, took a knife and marijuana to school after threatening people on social media. You maybe want to talk to the parents on this uh, this deal? I'm sorry. I, if you've got kids under your roof, don't you feel at least some responsibility for what they're up to? Uh, Jesse in South Lake. Jesse, thanks for waiting. How you doing, Jesse? Hi, thank you. I'm good. What's um, going I just on? Wanted to, I just wanted to ask about why was it that um, they singled her out? What kind of knife did she have? I mean, why did they single her they... out? Yeah, definitely. I feel like they, they singled her they, out. They singled her yeah. out because she threatened people and ho said she <laughs> hoped they got shot on social media. I mean, well, I think a lot of people talk. You know, a big okay. thing on oh, wait, Are you media. trying to make excuses for? No, definitely not. But I want to know what kind of knife she had. She had she had pepper spray. I carry pepper spray around with me as well. Yeah. Have you threatened to kill people? <laughs> no, I don't think she threatened to kill people. Have, has your brother like killed said. nine people in cold blood? That's the thing. Like, even if my brother did kill people in my, I would never want to be singled out just because it's, I felt it's, something it, like You know what? That, that free to be you and me hug a tree mm. nonsense doesn't work. You know, I don't think that's what I'm talking about here. I'm talking that's about exactly what you're talking white about. American, you know, white American kids still threaten these days, and we we have to protect ourselves. Oh, I see. That, because the black people are coming after you. Is that it? I don't care what color who's coming. I just feel that that's she's being singled out because she is who she is. Well, yeah, and maybe a few red flags to boot, and maybe you ought to do more at this end instead of mopping up brains out of the hallway later. I can't even believe what I'm hearing. That did that. It was that for real, Lee. That was a real call. Okay, all right. Yeah, you know Morgan uh, Roof was singled out because her brother, uh, a white supremacist by his own admission, walked in a church, killed nine black people while they were worshiping. And then she goes on social media, and I can't repeat some of the stuff that would probably convince you, Jesse, because I have an FCC that I have to uh, maintain. Um, yeah, you need to, you need to you need to read the story, and quite honestly, somebody needs to go over and have a one on one with these parents. Because it doesn't look like they've done a very good job raising kids. And their kids have become other people's problems. Um, don't you feel some respect? Uh, maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe we just don't do that anymore. No, doesn't matter what my son does. Doesn't matter what he does. I mean, I have no responsibility in anything he does. Or so. Does he live with you? Well, yes. You still don't feel any responsibility? No. Well, how, how is that? You know, Dylan Klebold, uh, the Columbine shooter. You know, how does that work? How do, how do your kids have that kind of stuff in their bedroom and you don't know anything about it? No, I didn't see that sawed-off rifle barrel. I didn't see that fuse cord. Well, when was the last time you went to his bedroom? When was the last time you asked him about certain things? They said, well, he was acting a little differently. You know, I, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand how parents can just say, you know, they take all the, the accolades when, when their kids do something great, but when their kids do something wrong, I don't know, I can't do anything with that kid. And Jesse, with all due respect, well, they, they probably singled her out. Singled her out. Well, you know, it wouldn't be profiling, you mean? Yeah, profiling is not such a bad thing 
when you're dealing with the sister of somebody who just killed nine people in cold blood and she brings a knife and marijuana to school after uh, threatening people on social media, why don't you read it for yourself? I can't say the words on the air. You know, it sounds like uh, the uh, white supremacist doesn't fall too far from the tree if you catch my drift, Jesse. You know, white students are in jeopardy. What's, what, what is this? What, what, white students, uh, we, we have to watch our backs. What, why is that? I, I don't get that. I don't understand that. What, what do you mean white students um, are in danger? I don't I don't get that at all. 